Well, a few months ago, I was enticed back into radio control aircraft with this beautiful little bird, the Radian Glider. Uh, they make two, the Standard and also the Radian Pro, which this one is. And they do fly really well. And um, I've been uh, more than impressed and uh, since then I've bought uh, several other foam models, uh, which is quite a departure from my uh, previous experience in radio control where we stuck bits of balsa wood together. Anyway, uh, one of the uh, things that I noticed with this particular aircraft, especially when flying it in, um, well, fairly strong winds and turbulence, is that there's quite a bit of flexibility at the back end. And um, you've probably noticed that uh, all of this sort of side of the aircraft is a little bit flexible. Uh, the tail is quite narrow, so we've got flexing uh, there, a little bit of vertical flexing and that impacts the uh, control surfaces on the rudder and the elevator. Uh, probably not a problem when you're flying in uh, really smooth air, but um, it certainly makes an effect. Uh, things like recovering from a dive, uh, when you start doing loops and a little bit of aerobatics, and um, yeah, when you want to do some tight turns, maybe uh, doing a uh, landing approach, um, it would be better if this was all a little bit more rigid. So that's the uh, project and uh, let's have a look at the tools and what we'll be using to um, address this problem. Well the main strategy here is to use carbon fibre and in this case we'll be using carbon fibre strip. Uh, it's fairly low cost, I think this piece cost me about uh, six dollars and it's been cut into three pieces as you see here. Uh, we'll be cutting some slots into the rear of the fuselage and also across the base of the fin. And uh, we'll be gluing the carbon fibre into the um, slots and gluing that with 15-minute uh, epoxy. Um, additionally, we'll be needing a sharp modeler's knife to cut the grooves, a couple of straight edges and the good old reliable razor saw. Uh, that allows us to uh, widen the grooves so that we've got room to uh, insert the carbon fibre and also have some room for that uh, glue. Uh, a couple of other things that uh, we'll be using um, just to make the job a little bit easier. Um, I've got some uh, gloves, uh, just throw away disposable gloves, a little bit of masking tape and it's always good to have some uh, paper towels to clean up mess when you're playing with glue. And you'll also notice that um, we've got the plane mounted on some foam blocks. Uh, that just makes the whole thing a lot easier to handle. And uh, the time to do this, probably half an hour. So uh, not a lot of investment, but quite a big return in flying performance. Right, the uh, first cut we'll be doing is on the underside of the rear of the fuselage. Uh, we're making our cut um, fairly close to the rear of the aircraft and right along the original glue line of the underside of the fuselage you can see that we've used the knife, the razor saw, we had to remove a little bit of tape uh, that ro uh, goes along the um, back of the um, cut and uh, then you can see the uh, carbon fiber uh, little rod that we've got um, and that's going to uh, slide into that groove. Okay so um, that's pretty straightforward um, we're obviously just checking that it's all fitting in there nice and tidily and this will take care of the vertical um, movement in the rear of the fuselage and should stiffen that up. The next operation is to run a little bit of masking tape over the cut and this will uh, prevent glue getting all over the uh, underside of the fuselage when we apply the epoxy. So that's our first cut completed and ready for gluing. Our next cut will be horizontally into the side of the fuselage which will give us lateral um, firmness and uh, you'll see I'm just uh, cutting a line down the grey um, decal that runs along the side of the fuselage. And again we'll just apply a little bit of um, masking tape down the side of the fuselage again to protect from the glue when we use that. You'll notice with this cut that we go right through to the end of the fuselage um, right really to the end of where the fin is attached. 
Already it's interesting to note that the two pieces of uh, carbon fibre that we've added have already increased the uh, strength of the rear of this fuselage considerably um, and of course we haven't even got any glue in yet. And now the final um, piece that we're going to add and that's right up the through the fin and that'll give us uh, good stability in the vertical plane. And uh, as you can see we've got our line going from about there straight up through to the uh, top of the fin here. Uh, it does actually go almost through the um, whole depth because the, uh, the actual width of this is probably well the same. Um, but it's going to be uh, epoxied in and, um, well, we might see a little line but we can apply a bit of white paint which will uh, sort that out. So uh, now I'll just go ahead and uh, put the uh, masking tape and uh, we're almost ready to start gluing. Uh, we've just checked to make sure all the carbon strips fit tightly into their slots and I'll now be mixing up using 15 minute epoxy, just gives you a little bit more time. Uh, the most important thing is when you uh, put the um, carbon fibre into the fuselage, um, do each one in turn, don't try and do them all at once because you want to make sure that the fuselage remains straight and you don't develop any odd twists. Um, in the fuselage which is going to uh, really spoil all the effects of what we're trying to do in the first place. Okay we've now applied the glue uh, to both sides. You don't need a lot. Uh, probably uh, less is better than more. And then it's just a question of sliding this now into the groove. Good idea to have these gloves on, particularly if you're like me, I seem to get glue all over the place. And a little bit of a stick to uh, prod that down. You can now see the benefits of the uh, masking tape. Uh, the bits of glue on the side are sticking to that and not to the fuselage. Just getting that down neatly. Not going to worry too much about the glue on the surface. That's uh, really looking pretty good and uh, we just need to check with a straight edge that uh, we've still maintained uh, straight fuselage it's looking pretty good and then run the spatula just down that to get the surface glue off And then we go now with number two. Actually, as I press this in, you can start to feel the uh, increased rigidity in this uh, rear fuselage. Quite amazing. Okay, and it's not a bad idea to remove now the masking tape before the glue sets. And that leaves us with a nice tidy job. Uh, I'll do the vertical one separately, we'll just let that uh, all dry off. And again, just checking for uh, a nice straight fuselage. So the final um, piece of fibre is going into the vertical stabiliser, uh, the fin, and as you can see, 
it's diagonally across. It does go right the way through uh, because this is fairly narrow, but that's going to be okay. We'll uh, just put a little bit of tape over there as it glues and that'll hold this uh, firm and um, the job will be done. Okay, the glue's on and we just slide that into place. So there we are, almost complete. And uh, I'll just remove the masking tape and we'll let the uh, glue go off. And I think we're just going to need a little bit of tape over there just to pull that in uh, while it dries. So uh, I'll get a little bit of uh, plastic uh, polythene, polythene or something, just put that over there and then a bit of tape, all done. So we'll let the glue dry and I think we can say success. Well we just had a little bit of our carbon fibre strand left and um, perfect place to put it. Straight at the uh, rear of the aircraft, uh, this is the rudder here and um, that's the control horn for the rudder. By just going up through there in the vertical uh, that just adds a little bit of extra uh, stiffness to um, keep the elevator and the um, horizontal stabilizer absolutely rigid. Perfect. So what have we achieved? Well the result is something akin to the rigidness of a broom handle. Well, that's the job done. As you can see, we've now got a piece of carbon fibre vertically through the underside of the fuselage at the rear. Uh, we've got another piece horizontally through the rear of the um, fuselage, which is giving lateral stability. And then on the other side, uh, we've taken another piece of carbon fibre up the front edge or the leading edge of the Thin, or the vertical stabilizer and we're about to uh, put another vertical piece in uh, near the rear end you can see the slot there so thank you for watching and um, enjoy your flying